music to the sound of a hunting horn You dance a ring in the gathering storm If the solstice time gets your panties in a while It's just the coming of the horn god He will call you out make you sweat Give you a blessing that you'll never forget So revel in the chase and let your heart beat run Blessed are the children of the horned one Hey guys, it's KK Witchy and I'm going to have to You'll have to excuse me for a minute because the glare back there is just way, way too, much, too much artificial light So, turned it off so now it don't look like the sun's like behind me beaming So Today's video is going to be an herbal video, and I haven't did um, an herbal video in a while. I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to do that, being I'm off work, and now I can kind of catch up on some videos. So instead. today's herbal video is going to be about agrimony. And yes, I get all my herbs at uh, Mountain Rose Herbs. They got a website. And... The only reason why I don't grow my own herbs is I would probably prefer to grow my own, but where I don't have um, a lot of land and stuff of that sorts, I don't really grow my own um, herbs unless it's like um, in a pot or even if they're in a small pot, I feel like they don't get as much room as they should, and I really don't like doing that because I want them to you know, have a free range of space. Or I don't want them to have a limited amount of space where they can grow. I want them to be free range if they wish. So, it's also known as uh, liverwort, sicklewort, stickwort, and a couple of other names. Um, and I'll post that information down below that way you guys can see. It's also known as church stipples and among other things. Now, the medical properties, I'm going to get into the medical and the magical. That's how it works. Now, before I go any farther, I do want to point out if you are pregnant, do not take the herb. Or if you're wanting to, please make sure, please consult with a medical professional before before so, um, especially if you don't know if you're allergic to it. Some people may end up allergic to it, so I recommend you go see um, a doctor. Or if you do try this, take it in small amounts to make sure you're not allergic. So now I'm going to get into the medical properties. The medical properties, when it's made into a whoosh, it can help uh, heal cut wounds. It can help stop bedwetting, diarrhea. Um, it's good for your liver when it's made into a tea. Uh, great for sleep, diabetes, gallbladder problems, if you have problems with your gallbladder, um, that's most common around, um, mostly with women, but I'm sure men experience it too. Um, also helps with sore throats and an upset stomach. Now, I am newly working with this herb, but so far I've loved it. I've used it in a um, banishing incense that I made um, for the channel. So, it works pretty good, and I, I love it. So, the magical properties is good for money spells, uh, prosperity, um, great for legal matters. <laughs> You're good, you know, if you need some oomph in that situation, if you need to go to court or anything like that. Also, great with luck, mental powers, visions, um, psychic powers. So, if you want to add it, maybe in a psychic incense. Um, great for that. Great for wisdom. It offers wisdom, uh, protection, sleep, banishing. Um, and it also, this is an interesting one, it also protects against goblins. So if you're having a problem with goblins, I recommend you get some of this stuff. Um, they hate it. They can't stand it. So... It's also great for reversing spells. Um, at one point, it was actually used to detect the presence of a witch. And I thought that was super funny. And I don't know why I find that funny. But, but I, I'm dumb like that. I mean, I find like little things like that hilarious. Now, again, newly working with this herb so far, I loved it. Um, when you smell it, my cousin said it smelled like hay to her, like fresh hay, but when I smell it, I like think of like hamster shavings and things of that sort of nature, 
So yeah, I actually think of hamster shavings when I smell it, but it's got kind of like um, a hay type of smell, or at least I think, or she thought. <laughs> so again, really good stuff. Um, if you're having any problems with goblins or anything of that sort of nature, you don't have to get you some of this. Um, it really wasn't an expensive herb. So, if you guys want to check that their website out down for it, I'll link it down below. That way you can find it. Um, I've not been able to find any seeds of this, but again, it could be under one of these other names um, for it. So, I probably have to check there if I want any seeds of this. So, that's all I have for this video, you guys. If you guys have any other information you'd like to share with people, um, please do so in the comments section. People do read comments and stuff like that. And, um, if they're wanting to learn more about this herb and you guys know some more information, please do share. So, thanks guys for watching and many blessings.